Happy Saturday. Welcome to Cross Weird. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Mm, sort of. For some people. Good morning, Slug. Good day to you. <clears throat> Meet Daddy 69420. Thank you, Meet. Meet. 23 Meet. months, almost two calendar years. That is more than two and a half babies. Baby. Baby. How's it going? Yeah. Hi, Slug. How you doing? It is quiet little a, morning over here. It is. It is one of. The, it's like a cozy morning over here because it's like drizzly. It's not raining too yeah, hard. Yeah, it's raining. It's pitter pitter patter. Well, it was Jerry. raining hard at points. I was just outside. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing? Good morning. Um, yeah, I got caught in the rain a little bit. Um, in fact, I I went and did like light grocery shopping after yoga, and I had a paper bag because I forgot my plastic bag, and I biked home with it, and it like completely disintegrated by the time that I needed to carry it upstairs. Oh no! Yeah. Yep, <clears throat> you're getting a few raindrops here. Cool. Yeah, it's cozy. And you know what? My plans for the day. My grandparents are 97. I've talked about this before. So probably the couple of people who are here know. But, you know, they're experiencing some health issues. And there is a request to make, like, easy freezer meals. So I'm going to make some minestrone Aww. soup for them, like a big batch. And I could not ask for better weather to make soup in the summer because, yeah. Oh, is it not hot it's, out either? I mean, it's like in the 70s. <clears throat> so, yeah, no. Yeah. Certainly not compared to like, you know, the way it's been. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I also stopped at <laughs> the library and picked up my book that was on hold that I've been really looking forward to reading a little bit of. A book club book? and uh <laughs> wow called out no Man. what wait what I'm no. not intentionally oh okay well our our last book club book kind of just fizzled out um but no this is this is a series I've been reading or well I read the first book of it's called the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. It's very good oh, and engaging right. and like easy reading if anyone's interested. Don't you both live in the same city? I'm so confused. What are you confused about, Slug? Yeah, Slug, what are... Dob just hasn't been outside yet, if that's what you're asking. Like today. if you're asking if I know it's warm or not? Yeah, I mean, that's just me. Slug, I don't... Okay. I'm sure it's just the also... difference in like... <laughs> Yeah, I don't always like wake up and check yeah, the weather. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Many, you know, unless I know that I have to go somewhere, which usually is not the case. Also, Dob doesn't usually like wake up until the afternoon on Saturdays, so he probably just woke up too and hasn't had. You okay, know. let's not. There's no reason to <clears throat> attack me. No, no one's being attacked. I respect your right to sleep in. <laughs> Moms has to explain the weather for us confused Californians who are like rain in the summer. Never heard of her. Hey, Moms, Broco. you know what you have to explain to me? Who is that in chat? I know it's a long lost Rogo. How you doing? Hi, Rogo. It's good to see you. Yes, rain is a little blessing in the middle of summer. I love it. I love like cool little bits of respite here and there. Oh, you don't have AC um, slug. Is that something you oh, like yeah. rarely need? I know people in the Bay Area don't usually have yeah. AC either. Right. Because there's only like a handful of days in the summer where you would use it. Yeah, I think that's true with Seattle. And I think that that was a big issue with like certain heat waves, right? Because people are not equipped for it. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Well, that's I, been the weather on the sixes. 
right? I will say too that the yoga class I did this morning felt really nice most of the time. Dob knows why. I won't even go there. I don't even know why you went um, there. Well, it just feels dishonest to say that it was 100% a great class, but. Right. Yeah. It, I'm really trying to get back into it, if for no other reason than to strengthen my ankle. And, like, it's the rare class. It was, like, an easier class, but for some reason, the instructor wanted to do arm balances. And it's the rare class that I'm, like, pointed out as, like, everybody look at her. She's, like, the model, you know? But because it was, like, an easier class... I don't know. It was weird, but it's kind of like, oh, I guess this is nice to like, I, I've i done yoga for like, you know, since basically 2021. And it's cool, even though I've taken a break from it since injuring my ankle, it's cool to feel like, oh yeah, I actually have like a good grasp on yoga. Yeah, meet... <laughs> That was the least of my concerns in this particular yoga class. Um, yeah, I don't really mind it. I think I I feel lucky to feel comfortable enough in, like, I used to feel really, like, embarrassed, especially going to a, a class for the first time or, like, the first few times before you, like, really understand the rhythm of it. But... This this instructor's vibe, first of all, she was, like, probably a 70-year-old woman. Um, she just felt very, like, it didn't feel like, you know, I don't know. It felt okay. And I think, like, I actually enjoy, like, classes that have adjustments. I know a lot of people don't like that. But I don't mind someone, you know, physically touching me to help me get into a pose or pointing out another person's pose and but I could totally see why that would be uncomfortable and I think in the past I might have felt more uncomfortable with that too but anyway just yoga talk just yoga things but anyway YT, just some YT mm -hmm. um, anything to share about your morning nope have you had your coffee I have Yes. Oh, slug. Yeah, it's very much so. Some studios have a little card that you can put that you put in front of your mat that says like okay with adjustments, and then on the other side it says like not okay with adjustments. And some other places will just you know they'll come up to you and say like, do you mind if I adjust you, or would you like an adjustment? Usually more it's like, would you like an adjustment? It's gone are the days of people coming up and touching you, like, without consent. That, I think, was a thing in yoga, but it's really, really very much not anymore. And I know, like, most studios, like, will just, they, do, they don't do adjustments as a rule, which I think is unfortunate because they can be really, really helpful. But, you know, I understand the discomfort from instructors, like, not even wanting to potentially go there. So... Yeah. Anyway. Ooh, Kelsey, I got my brows done and lip waxed and I feel like a new person. Woohoo. Yeah, I'm not surprised they back then they would yeah. have not even considered asking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like there's like two kinds. There's there are adjustments that help you get into a pose, you know, like um or like supportive adjustments where someone's basically like spotting you. And then there are another type of adjustment where like for like yin classes where someone's like basically kneading your back and getting you deeper into a pose. And I'm like, oh my God, please and thank you. It's very relaxing. Yeah, I totally get that bagel. I would not like it in any circumstance, even if it's positive, like... I yeah. just don't like attention in public of any kind. Not, I would not do well with that. Right. I, yeah, totally get that. 
This lady was, um, how do I say this? Uh, tactless in other ways in the class, but in like an endearing, <laughs> you are 70 years old kind of way. Yeah, she was having trouble with the Zoom sound and <laughs> was like, okay, uh, everybody get into child's pose. Now deep breath in. Can you hear me, Jessica? <laughs> Jessica, can you hear me? <laughs> Deep breath out. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> and just as someone who deals with audio issues from time to time, I was like, <sighs> like hyperventilating, like, oh my God, this is so stressful. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, bagel. I used to feel that way too. And very much so with like yoga and other things where there's a presumption that you'll know like what they're cueing and it goes in a, at a certain pace. That was what you really has like intimidated me before. But I don't know what happened, but I was I was saying something very stressful happened to me in the class today. And I told Dob, I think my Lexapro is just like working overtime or something because i was like you know what whatever i like just roll with it i don't know but i definitely didn't used to feel that way way to go moms thanks yeah i feel good about it uh yeah it was definitely comedy level bagel for sure oh i would love to try aerial silks i think they're so pretty and they look very fun rogo that's cool that you that you did that class. Well, I don't want to chat everybody's ear off about yoga. Um, we are going to do some puzzles. Uh, we are going to do... Um, oh, yeah, I've seen that. Is that like a clown college or something? Sir. Okay. <laughs> clown <Sorry>. again. <laughs> Circus school, not clowns. Sorry. Sorry, clowns. Sorry, circus folk. <laughs> Clown college. <laughs> no, uh, I've seen it before, and I have actually considered going. I might. Um, <clears throat> also, like, there was a period when I was far too old to, like, transition into this as, like, a career. Like, in my early 20s, where I, like, definitely wished that my career path had been being a contortionist like i just think yeah some of that stuff is really cool anyway um so yeah we're gonna do the la times by kyle dolan and dylan schiff and then we're gonna do mm -hmm. the avcx cryptic by shannon rapp and will eisenberg um Ooh, also is that? Just, shannon rapp and will eisenberg i know right? we know those people yeah, we do. We do. Hi. Hi, Nora. Um, we're keeping it simple today because although they seem to have stopped, the people that live above me had a bunch of tremendous arguments with each other and then moved out on the first. And now they're like literally like gut renovating the apartment above us or something. I don't know. But it's been really loud. So if you hear background noise... That's what it is. You know what? I had a nightmare about it last night. I literally had a nightmare oh. about their fights, which I just realized. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, wow. I mean, hopefully you'll get some nice, quiet upstairs Yeah, neighbors. these ones are actually okay for the most part. One of them was the flight attendant. Um, it was two male roommates, and one of them was a the flight attendant, so he was almost never there, to be honest, and the other one was pretty quiet. So everyone, please say a prayer for me that I get nice upstairs neighbors. Um, hi, Steve. Hello, my Steph. <laughs> Figure out a way so everyone can live on the top floor, but also have to climb zero stairs. I guess that would just be one floor ranches or something. Just build everything <laughs> horizontal and not vertical, I guess. Although. Right. Right. What you said. <laughs> yeah. Um anyway, yeah, so we're gonna keep it simple. We'll do the the bzz, the B after that. Um oh Kelsey, trust me, I know. We know that I have an issue with the people below. Oh boy. 
They are so loud. Anyway, they've been pretty good, though, I have to say. Oh, Jesus Christ, Um, Kelsey. That is absolutely... Mm. Oh, God. (laughs) Almost worst case scenario. Yeah. I mean, the people below me have occasional good taste in music. Very occasional. But mostly they make their own music with heavy air quotes. Like, you know, they're like DJs or something. I don't know. And... They need a lot of things, Bagel. Yeah. <clears throat> Whether we're talking about right, Moms Downstairs we... Neighbors or Kelsey's. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, though? I have to say, the Downstairs Neighbors have really improved. Maybe it's the doctor using all the weight of his giant frame to pound on the floors, <laughs> stomp on the floors when they're being extremely loud, but... That there has been a shift, so maybe somebody moved. No, they still live there. Both of uh, both of them, I think, and then they have like a rotating crew of friends that are like staying there in and out. Something weird going on with Twitch. I don't know, Red Keg. Nobody what's, else has said anything. Going on? Yeah. Doctor the Doctor slam. slam. Talk about a slug slam! Wow, what a classic <laughs> moment. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right, should we get started? Do you want to send me the music link? I already did. I'll probably oh, have cool. to send it again, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Do you want to just send, send it, it again? again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Also, um, my niece's birthday party is tomorrow. She is Aww. adorable, and she is too. I just. And she Can't knows get enough it. Of her. She's the best. Yes, yes, she does know it. She knows that she's two. She did say that her brother was three, which is incorrect. He is four. And then she did say that her dad is five, which is not surprisingly also incorrect. Um, oh, it's broken. Oh. Oh no. Is it like that for a lot of people? Oh, huh. okay. Oh. All my hi, follows Saz. are missing. Hi, Saz. Are you still able to mod, Saz? No, you won't. Kelsey, no, <laughs> now, Kelsey trying her best to get access to no, never. <laughs> Meet. I'm going to make Red Keg a mod. You are? No. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I said it, actually. All right, I'm going to find some music. Who has some ideas for something chill? Music to chill and study to. I know <laughs> some people hate that. I Yeah, I was not necessarily looking at you, Meat. Rainy Day playlist. Bonobos, yeah. Oh no, Saz. Damn it, Twitch. Okay, we have some suggestions. Bonobos, Tycho, Odessa, Boards of Canada... Ooh, Purple Rain. Interesting, because of the rain. All right, we'll do Purple Rain Radio. Okay. We'll see how this goes. (laughs) Nice bagel. Oh, dear. Hey, bagel? Don't talk to bagel like that. (laughs) I just noticed. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> One board of Canada, yes. Oh my god. While you're swim, swim. All right. 
Um, Moms, can you hear the music? I can hear the music, yeah. Terrific. Please don't stop the music. What? All right. Um, are you ready? Uh, I'm getting there. Hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. You just say the thing whenever. Um, I think I'm, wait, I don't think we're in red. Hold on. Hi, Glenn. How's it going? Okay. Away we go. Okay. Next level experience. Mm. Um, not sure. The Hobbit figure. Gnome. Are there gnomes? Oh. Hobbits. Okay. Around. Um, nearby. I don't know. Registration info. Oh, here it comes. I don't know if you can hear that. Registration info is. Um, not sure. I mean, login, strips at a party. Oh, yeah. This could be like buffalo strips or like chicken strips or strips at a party. I don't know. Emma Roberts to Julia Roberts. Niece. Niece? Is that how you spell niece? Yes. Okay. That's a bad idea. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, don't. You can hear sure. it? Oh, no? What? Okay. No. Maybe dwarf? Just spelled just like that. Straight from the garden is fresh. Um, Nook is... Something... Uh, see, Anemone. yes, O'Hare and Bush for oh. two. Oh, Airport. uh, maybe it's like WW. Oh, veterans, maybe. Uh, no, veterans? no, I just thought because it's for two, right? Uh, Nook is a recess. She she is posh. Hides is our skins, maybe. Um. Oh, WW two pilots. I am soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why would why would it be World War One anyway? Okay. London Institute with L.A. namesake familiarly. Um. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Industry Titan is uh, Maven, a Baron. I don't know. Oh, a Czar. Oh, it could be Czar. Is this the one case where it's the spelling? I forget. Unsure sounds could be Urs. Smith of TV's Empire. Enterprise rival Hertz. Nice. Oh, The Times. Oh. Oh. Um, perfect portions brand could be Alpo or I'm sure test with a max verbal reasoning score of, um, is this the GRE maybe, or it could be SAT too, actually, that might be better. I don't know. I don't know. New height. GRE would, I think, fit well with that H, I guess. Yeah, it would. But I don't actually know. That would end in an S, yeah. Smith. Tisha? Next level. Oh, next uh, level experience. Know. Something flight, right? Top flight, maybe, or something? First word of Tom Petty's Free Fallen. Potential Guinness entry, say. Best. Is okay. that what we're going for here? I don't know. Perfect portions. Alpo, Ims. Let's see, is this plural? Raises. Yeah, it's probably Ims. Raises, toasts. Does that make sense? Uh, strips at a party. Best does not look great. Okay. A toast I mean, doesn't look unless I'm great wrong. either. Chess pieces known as elephants in Russia. Knights? Oh, maybe elephants. What else would fit? Oh, maybe... Um... Yeah, maybe it is knights. 
focused is something Elaine, who has a recurring role as Jack's mother on 30 Rock. It could be Boozler. How do you spell that like this? Uh, B-O-O-S-L-E-R, I think. Okay. If that's Drop what it is. without. I mean, it might not be Elaine yeah. Boozler, I guess. High Wind. Let's go over here. Something Darone. Um, let's go over uh -oh. here. Boddington's, for example. Maybe an ale. Japanese cutlet is katsu. Nice. Doesn't surprise in a way. Um, Isn't sure. it new to or something like that? I don't know. That's yeah, that fits. I mean, I think it's a good guess. Let's see what P may stand for. That seems. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll see. Carry a torch for is represent. Is that like for the Olympics? Mm. Carry a torch for I don't know. A uh, place where stuff sells left and right. Something store maybe. Yeah, that's a good guess. Uh, what? Oh my God, maybe. Could be. Uh, yoga roll is a mat, so that looks good. Hey, yoga. One who crosses the line. Realtor? Doesn't make sense, right? I don't think so. Um, warrant is... It... I don't know. To warrant know. something, yeah. Um, the crown roll familiarly. Nice Lady die. Oh, okay, yeah. Road something. One who crosses the line. Warrant is entitled. Yes. Taboo gathering. Um, oh, is this about taboo the game? Could be. I don't remember how that's played. Um, all good. This is tough. Um, yeah, a little tough. Yeah. Beach club is something. Boggle pieces are dice. Um, again is a new. Nice. Something new nice. is maybe lewd, lewd. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Taboo gathering game night. There you go. Nice Good job. Roadhog road. Hog are we work cool. with edge? Ed? What is that? What is What's, a road hog? Oh, sand wedge. Uh, road hog is nice. a motorcycle, right? Oh, okay. All U.S. vice presidents until 2021. Med, obviously. Uh, pageant prize is a tiara. Long term investment accounts, um, sagas, maybe. Now, about as to. Oh, okay. The flight attendant star. Isn't that oh, like... Oh, that's Kelly Cuoco, so it's not... Cuoco? C-U-O-C-O. Okay. Uh, carry... Crush on? Is that... I mean, Does that mean carry a torch? I have no I mean, idea. it fits. I don't know what else it could be. Maybe um, lives up to, like lives up to the hype. Could be. P Maybe, would make sense. Know, place where, yeah. Place where stalls stuff shoe store. Okay. Am I okay? Oh, no. right. Per. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Hmm. Roughly is ish. I don't remember what that one is. Technical drawing is schematic. Maybe. Maybe it's not Bosler. Oh, coach, right? There. I don't know. Heathrow facilities, lab. Uh, forgets maybe is emits. Seasoning on a Chicago style hot dog. Hey, Celery we know salt. that one. Hey, nice. it's our city. Allow is let. Coastal habitat is. Um, can't think of it. Always and forever, Largine. Novelist Jenny. Don't know. One-time carrier based in Cairo. 
I don't know. Hmm. Brand with the, a pomplamoose flavor is LaCroix. Right. Um, pomplamoose. Uh, Diamond Jubilee number. Hmm. Um, flip side. Tails. Cute. Minute or minute. Itsy, maybe? Yeah, 60, I 60. guess. Yeah. Holds up is... Pulse. Short tailed. Maybe oh, not. This is, uh, yeah, this is. What is this? A stoat. Oh. Um, this is going to be my tie. Hey, look, oh, there's Lacey the going here. across. Yeah. Sorry, oh, what? Lacey. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, holds up his lasts and then air, maybe Sinai. Um, oh, Marsh. Okay. That all looks nice. good. High wind is oh, it's a is it a music musical instrument? I don't know what it would be, but chess know. pieces. Wait, what's focus. twenty-seven down? It's definitely a myths. Twenty-seven down forgets maybe. No, that's O oh, myths. Oh myths. Yes, thank you. So Piccolo. Piccolo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, focused is. Um, Something drop without. Hmm. Oh, what Raisins. could one down be now? Um. Oh right. Uh. Shrimps. Brain is <laughs> around is. What is this next level experience? I I thought new height, but I don't know if that's yeah. Right. New height would I said top flight, but new height makes more sense. Let's try that. Um, potential Guinness entry say first word of Tom Petty's free fall. Oh, I think it's she's a good girl, right? It's I think it's she's. She Mm. Raises hoists, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it is or hoists. Best. Oh, bishops! It's bishops. There Hello. we go. I forgot about bishops. Yeah, good job. Yeah. So drop without is it opt out? Drop out, opt out. Yeah. Wait, no. My upic. <laughs> I think opt uh, makes sense. Okay. Strips at a party are uh streamers. Stream streamers. Streamers. There you go. Yeah. That's the actual one. Oh, a feet. So something fight. Oh. Around is in the area. Nice. Utrich, maybe or something. I honestly don't know. Uh, topic. Yeah. Boss fight. Boss fight. Oh, like a in a video game boss level. Oh, okay. Like how you know, remember you made yeah. the joke about my espresso machine. Um, what was that? Oh yeah, I know. I know. Final boss. Yes. Final I boss. Your espresso right. machine. The final boss. Um, espresso machines. GG. That was a toughie. Yay. Yeah, that was a delightful little challenge. Oh, is the thing not... Wait. Did the applause not work? Hold on. I mean, Twitch is F oh, right no. now, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, um, hold on. Also, I don't know if we said it, but Meet, thank you for the resubscription. I did. That's very yeah. Thank you. Okay, I think I might have missed it. Ooh. <laughs> Kelsey. That's so funny. Imagine um, dipping a pizza puff in pho. I don't know. That sounds good, actually. Maybe. I love pizza puffs. I haven't had one in... No, I want a pizza puff. Forever. Get a pizza puff. What would we bad... So I mean, I've never thought about the combo, but I love both things. Uh, anyway, yeah, Tuffy, Kyle, and Dylan. Good job. 
Let me do a free redemption for you, Steve. It's very much a Chicago thing, right? Oh, it's not. I guess it is. Not yeah. free for bagel. Oh, there we go. This is a pizza puff. It looks like uh, this. Yeah, it looks more like that and comes in like the. That looks like that's like like a real pizzeria's version of a pizza puff. But these are right. like frozen and they get fried at like a. I guess maybe some it's, fast food places make it fresh, I, but it's Italico or whatever. What is it? Oh, yeah, Il Taco. Whatever. Is that actually what it's called? Oh, my God. It's delicious. It's basically, I want to say it's like, imagine a giant pizza roll, but in puff pastry. Fancy Hot Pockets is pretty no, accurate. Yeah. No, but I don't. The outside, the it's crust different. does not like a, yeah. it's like a puff pastry. Yep. They're pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of flaky, which I think these remind me. Yeah. You can easily burn the roof of your mouth. Actually. I know where the pizza puff factory is. Yes. And you know what? I actually know someone who worked briefly at the pizza puff factory when he was going through a really tough time. But I mean, not actually, he was working at as like, he was, it was some professional role, like engineering or I don't, I don't really understand, but he used, he found like a little groove in the pizza puff factory where he would go take naps for like most of the day because he was not doing well. Anyway, that's random. That's a really random story. <laughs> Can we click that's on that first the image? Factory. The yes. very first one. Yeah. That's an exact, you can see how like flaky it is. Right. But the other thing to note here is that they're not all like, I wonder if there's a list of them because they're not all pizza. Like some of them are like Italian beef and stuff. Italian sausage. Wait, really? Pepperoni pizza. Yeah. They have, and they have a taco one. It's oh. like, yeah. Huh. They have a lot of. Uh, I'm only familiar with like the whatever the nor the usual one. Yeah, is. like the beef one. I think this is the typical. <clears throat> oh look, okay. Yeah, they have a Euro puff. Yeah, I've never seen any other kind of pizza puff than like the regular pizza puff, like at a place. I didn't even know they sold them like frozen. Oh yeah, I you never know, think you of know the store that I'm talking puff. about. There's like a shitty store that I hate that is close to my apartment that has been lovingly dubbed Shit Mart, and it's like the produce is always bad. Their yes stock is extremely random and possibly expired, and they without fail have pizza puffs. Um, is it a food smart? I will not say Kelsey. <laughs> But no, it's not a food smart that I'm talking about. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted me to answer. I was giving that one to you. Yeah. Yeah, this one is like, it's basically like a glorified, you know, corner store. It's a corner store that basically is the size of a regular grocery store. And, but it's like mostly a liquor store. So like the only reason you really should go there, in my humble opinion, is to get liquor. But they also sell meat that looks really, really bad. Anyway, I remember Basically getting like some really good it, yeah. parsley at a the Food Smart um, in Logan Square like a few years ago, which was so random. Hmm. I maybe that it's not random. random. It's the only time I've shopped for parsley at a Food Smart. Yeah, Food Smart. I mean, has it's it's come in clutch at times, but. Um, when I think of Food Smart, I think of again my brother getting in a bike accident on his way to turning in me, his, and my older sister's tax returns one year. So he sent them in to the IRS covered in his blood. Jesus. <laughs> and it was like Christ. down to the wire. Yeah. <laughs> but like, what were we going to do? Like, th he had to drop the, because the food, that Food Smart on Armitage is also like a 24 hour post office or something weird. So he was like, yeah, down to the wire trying to send our tax returns in. And 
he got like doored, <laughs> I think, on his hand that he was oh, also no. because he's a guy and wasn't like wearing a purse or a backpack or something. He was just holding while he was biking. He was holding our three tax returns, like papers in his, in hand. his hand. Oh my god! Well, in an envelope, yeah. And then, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, bagel. My bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, um, pizza puffs. This is a thing that exists. Also, Does hi, it Will. say where you can find them? Puff Finder. Can we click Puff Finder in the upper right, please? Sure. Puff. Where is it? Puff Finder. Oh, don't do a location thing. You just scroll in, I guess. Oh, you can get them and okay. Take note, people who are not in Chicago. Let's see if you can find a pizza wow. puff in a yeah. Yeah, all you can the... find them all over the place. I did not know they sold them like frozen. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I know they're frozen when they make them at like you know a place, but oh yeah, there's restaurants versus. So I'm sorry. Do they? Yeah, look, they have them at restaurants like in Indiana and in Michigan random restaurant in Pennsylvania. That's interesting. And a lot of I, restaurants on the West Coast. What are these restaurants? I think Winco? Bagel's, Bagel's trying to save you oh, from are... any accidental doxing. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I don't think it knows my personal location, right? I mean, it does probably. I but. mean, it, it okay. might like ask, and then you you might have accidentally <laughs> said yes, like just with that, whatever. Right, I appreciate that, Bagel. Um. Anyway, um. Wow, that was quite a tangent. I don't remember how that started, but mm, pizza puffs. Oh, it was because of this clue: seasoning on a Chicago style dog. Hey, I bet there's a subset of people who would really like to play that map. I would play it. Um, Custom maps are fun. Oh yeah, the oh, fun right. place. That's selling them. Was. That's what it was. Yes, yes. Well, that was a fun puzzle. I liked that it was a little, a little difficult. Or maybe we're just needing to um, wake up a little bit. I've never heard of Winco, but apparently it's a restaurant. To be clear, these are like a fast food item. Like, these are not any type of delicacy. These are in, like, basically hot dog shops or, like... Yeah, they're yeah. they're shitty, but, like, in a delicious... Like, yeah. the delicious it's kind like Taco of shitty. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, they're, they're not, like... It's not, like, fine dining. Bagel. <laughs> this is, like, patties in New York. All right, one quick more... Oh boy. Patties and my team. Yes. One quick more syntax, please. Um oh, Jamaican patties. I've seen these before, yeah. Jamaican beef All patties. Right, let me... I mean, I was gonna say like beef patties, but it's obviously its own thing. Patties, NYC yeah. Jamaican beef. Yeah. Pretty similar. Yeah, these, like little same idea. Empanada like things. Yep. Yeah, I kinda wanna have a pizza puff now. I'm curious. I haven't had one in literally they remind me of being nineteen and eating from like a little hot dog stand regularly when hungover. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I would eat a couple of these. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's um, do another puzzle. Yeah, we have another puzzle to do. It's a cryptic. Uh, uh, LeBron, I think you came in at some point during all of oh, that. Yeah. And <laughs> sorry. Hi, LeBron, if you're still here. Nora, I know you're still here. Yes, we're going to do your cryptic. This is an ABCX cryptic. Oh, why did I do that? Because I need to go. We're going to precariously venture into the um, Crossweird inbox. Um, and 
read the intro here. Uh, Dear Solvers, we've got a cryptic collaboration coming at you this week with two familiar faces in the cross world, Will Eisenberg and Shannon Rapp. Will, T1 Umberwolves, is a French horn player and music teacher in the Twin Cities. He is the current third horn of Orchestra Iowa and a founding member of the Minnesota Horn Quartet. Will is an editor for the little AVCX. Um, more of his puzzles can be found on his blog, Half Baked Puzzles. Shannon, why did that feel so weird to say? Shannon, <laughs> aka Sharp at Sharp Nora is a research administrator at Washington University Medical School in St. Louis. Since starting to make crosswords in 2020, she has written puzzles for numerous outlets as well as her own blog. Shannon is an editor for the Indie Crosswords Project Lemonade Disco, which is now open for submissions. Nice to get that shout out in there. That's really cool. Um, You can probably find her at the next tournament talking up Indie Crosswords to anyone who will listen and trying desperately not to finish in last place. Will and Shannon are frequent collab collaborators who have co-written for the LA Times Universal AVCX. These puzzles fund abortion and fireball crosswords. This is their first published cryptic together. We hope you enjoy all the twists and turns these two have put together for you. <laughs> collaborators. <laughs> is, is that actually what you oh, said? Dear. I don't know. I said something similar, yeah. Collaborators. Yeah, probably like that. <laughs> Would you like to collaborate with me? I mean, um, I've tried. Anyway, uh, excuse me. Weird. I have. We I have. have we have collaborated. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. I say try. Um, okay. One across. Are we ready? I need to get some paper actually before we get Why started. Why did we make these titles so long? Okay. I mean, it just says all the info, I guess. Yeah, but it says it says the off the author's names twice. It says oh, it in the I title see. and in the author field. Got it. Um, For those who don't know, Dob has been working on this solver. Okay, we don't. So, okay. No, I'm just saying, like you know, I know that you're thinking more in terms of like web design stuff these days mm-hmm. with little things like that. So pe- maybe people don't know. Uh oh, here comes the drilling upstairs again. No, no. Thoughts and prayers. Um, okay, one across. Uh, AB6 puzzles do say the author in the title and also in the author field, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. I Can we just that. try zooming out just one? Sure. I think those clues, I think that's good. Unless it's not big enough for you. Is This is big enough for everybody, the clues? It's fine for me as long as it's fine for everybody Yeah, I else. think it's good. All right, one across. Splits saying, so long, ass. Wow. Nice start. Splits. Uh, um, splits. Saying, I mean, that makes me think homophone, but I don't know. Wow, this is, I do G, and wow, what a start. Oh, um, okay. very Nora start, even though that was Nora 2022 or whatever. Hmm. Before the rebranding. Before the rebranding. <laughs> God, now I really want a pizza puff. Damn it. (laughs) I also really want a smoothie. Like leaves? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Sorry, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, so. um, What did you say? I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, why don't you something is what I heard. Do you want a hint? I don't think I said that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm hearing. Um, do you want a hint? Sure. So splits is the straight deaf and it is a homophone of so long ass. And I would say it's a two part homophone. So 
homophone of so long and homophone of ass. Got it. What could be a homophone of ass? Uh. So, right. And it's a very, it's a very slangy version of what ass is. It's the type of ass that you can get, not a butt. I'm sure many jokes could be made right now, but um, I mean, I mean, am I wrong? Maybe I don't have the right answer. <laughs> Will Kelsey, and Nora, am Kelsey I explaining has this a question apparently. <laughs> What does it mean to get ass? To get some ass? What? I hate that I have to explain this so Moms, explicitly. what? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's Kelsey. what it means. Yes. But you said so not... So what would the ass be in this context? He knows the idiom, slug. <laughs> Maybe oh he doesn't know the idiom. So if you're getting ass, what is the, what is ass? But you said it's a it's homophone. Plainest. Yes, it is. And not okay. of ASS. Can you just put it in, please? Just sure. put it in. Jesus Christ. Oops, not in. <laughs> just put it in. <laughs> Kelsey, no. God damn it. Do you get it now? Yes, but... Yeah. Yeah. Bye, sex. See you later. <laughs> this is very fun. <laughs> Who came up with that one, or was it a collaboration? Yeah, was that a collab? Or a... Colamb. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's look at one down. Was it a tag team effort? Uh oh. Okay. Okay. What? Wardrobe.com forward slash essentials <laughs> features suits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is such a silly surface. I. What are we doing here? Um, Wardrobe.com. Essentials. Oh, I love that it's like yes, also G. <laughs> not just a domain name. Yeah, nice. <laughs> How silly. Nice. Wow, that is really fun, and that's just a uh, way to think out of the box to get dot com out of that, and then the forward slash as well. Very good. Everything very nice so far. All right, two down. Oh, my goodness. Two down. I'm so glad Joe Adultman isn't here. I mean, Although, leave I think it we to all can agree. Nora and Will to make a horny cryptic. Sure. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Okay, Sorry, two Joe. down. Phase of... <laughs> Joe did solve Joe... this last night, by the oh, way. Oh, he did? I, oh, my gosh. I did not watch, right. but I have to imagine... Yeah. <laughs> Although Joe has changed a lot. He's grown. Joe has changed. He's grown a lot in the last month or so <laughs> yeah a real adult men now um okay two down phase of horny behavior after street parade um okay phase of horny behavior after street i mean my guess is gonna start with st right and then parade um Phase of horny behavior. Um, what could parade be like obviously like a parade or like to parade something? I mean, I have a waff here, but I don't think it's right because I can't figure out a parse for it. Yeah, phase of horny. Behavior. Street parade. I mean, all I can think of, I just, I have a waff too. I wonder if we have the same waff. What's your waff? Stint st is mine. 
Oh, okay. No, I have a what different was yours? one. Do you oh, want me cool. to say what, it? What is it? Yeah. Strut? But oh, I don't see how that could be. That. I don't see how that could be. I don't see how rut can be phase of horny behavior, though. Yeah, so. maybe. Is there like a meaning of rut that's like when two animals fighting have their horns stuck oh, together? Like I don't rams? know. That's a guess. Like ramming? Is that a thing? I would accept an exclamation point if that were a thing. Because I do like strut for parade. I don't. I Silence. don't think it's I don't think it's it, but I also mm. am well known for lack of definitional knowledge, which is such a ridiculous way of saying I don't know words. I get it. I no, I understand. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, let's okay. keep going. Three down. Gave not sure what to say. Well, <laughs> that says it all, Will. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Usually an upside on exclamation point suffices, but Hi says. In rut is when they fight with their horns. Is I think Slug is messing with us. I with Slug, especially lately, I never know. Oh yeah. Slug has been in full troll mode recently. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Or Anyway, um... Oh, right. Horns. Right. Horny. Sure. Hi, Kath. Uh, Maybe Slug is being... Maybe this is classic Slug just being very straightforward. Well, we didn't get an exclamation point for Strut, so I'm guessing it's Yeah, but maybe people just don't feel like giving it. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we can put it in. Why don't we just try to confirm on a cross? Yeah. Uh, let's look at this one. It's a little bit smaller. Occasion to serve a green tea. Well, that looks good. Matcha? Matcha? I'm thinking. I don't have this parse yet, though. Oh, I do. Oh, match. Yeah, and A. Occasion to serve. Yeah. Nice. Right. Um... Okay, let's look at this one. It wasn't me. That's all right and nasty. I mean, all songs. Uh, it wasn't me. That's all right. Uh, uh, I don't know. I have no idea what's happening here. Me either. I was thinking... Slug, what does all thongs mean? (laughs) Yeah. All right, let's look at this one. Uh, Three down. Gave directions to hidden boxing ring. Okay. I said songs, Slug. Uh okay. Um not all songs. <laughs> Hi Eve. Um uh, ring. Oh, I think boxing is probably a verb here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then O oh, gave directions. So hidden. Like, does it end in ed? It does. Okay, can you put that in? I sure can. Thank you. Uh, coached. Yeah. All right, hidden, cached. Yep. Boxing up ring is o. Nice, smooth. Yeah. Very nice. I like boxing ring there. Very smooth. I'm starting to build. Himeji Castle. Cool. That's nice exciting. Um, all right. Nine across. Thinly sliced meat and fish at a country club I love. Uh, <clears throat> I think I have it. 
All I can see is charcuterie, but that does not work. Um, fish. Country club I love. Does it end in O? It does. And there is there an I there? There is. I this forgot if I said a G. Is. Yes. Yeah, you did. You said you okay. think you had it. Okay. okay, so carp, country, uh, A is A, country club is CC, I is I, and love is love. Very nice, long, um, charade is what those are called. Hello, brain. <laughs> Hello. Anything in there? <laughs> Do we all um, need to, very cool. I feel like moms, you and I maybe both need to like, just like, Stretch or something. Stretch. I mean, I just stretched a bunch. I just did a very yeah. intense. Okay, maybe yogurt, it's the opposite. So. Yogurt. Yeah, maybe I stretched okay. too much. All right, let's look at four down. So it wasn't me. That's all right. And nasty. I mean, I have sex spelled S E C. <laughs> Nas. It wasn't me. That's all right. Nasty. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I have it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but is it sick? It is sick. Okay. This is cute. I did. I am drinking a classic cola poppy, which has a little bit of caffeine in it, but I don't know if that's enough. So do you have the parse? Yeah. Do you want me to just say it or? Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't me as sick, like as in not my mistake in Oh, writing. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Okay. It's K. Yeah. Very clever. Yeah. Very clever construction. These are really great clues, you two. Seriously, through and through. Impressive stuff. Um, all right. Let's look at 14 across. Bureau's top tier physician buried in convoluted casework. Hmm. Hmm. Top tier can be just S. Um, but it could also be other things. Bureau. Yeah. Bureau. What's the I also thought like buried in could be a hidden at first, but it's just we have the S, so I don't think it's that. I think it's, um I think it's gonna be an anagram of casework with physician oh. going inside. Ooh. Either doctor or MD. Interesting. Okay. I'm not so bureau will be the t- the straight deaf. Um, huh? Bureau I'm not sure. Top tier, I guess. Oh. I'm gonna write out the and just see if I can. Oh, bureau's top tier, right? Okay. Mm. Are you trying to get the anagram? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, because in that case, I want to bring up Ducktales. Okay. So people have something to watch. Um. Whoa! I have it. This one's wild. Very cool. You do have it. Okay. I do have it now. Yeah. Um, so casework, do you want to just tell me the two letters that go inside casework? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be DR doctor, not MD. So S blank, 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 
dr blank 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 I can say it again if you want no no I'm good thank you so um and it's a four six just as a reminder gotcha thank you um bureau's top tier Oh my god. Yeah. How you silly. Have it? Good one. Sock drawer. Sock drawer. Yeah. Euros very top tier. <laughs> very misdirecty. Yeah. Very good though. Cool. Fun. Um, so I guess everyone has the parse, right? Please let us know at any point if anyone's out there who would like a parse at any to turn i think yeah. people know that but please yeah bears repeating um all right very cute very nice work five down heave loser exploding stay off the ship i think it's another anagram just because heave loser yeah. is 10 so let me oh i'm so whoops. sorry you didn't see us read the clue but there it is yeah <laughs> Yeah, sorry. But now I'll bring up DuckTiles. Mm. It's 5-5. Five, five. Right. G. Okay. Is the first word sure? It is. Okay. This is uh that. this is another Why are you honking, Nora? Um, yeah, this is another tr slightly tricky death. Sure. It is, Kelsey. Yeah, I think Nora's just being a butt. So am I, did I write this wrong or do I have L-E-A-V left after I've typed in sure? Uh, L-A-V. L E A V. Correct. No, that's correct. Why can't I make a word of that? Again, the def is slightly tricky. It's like it's written in such a way that is easily confusing. I'm not even thinking about the def. I'm just trying to waff a word and I can't see it. But can you give me a little hint? Yeah. So stay is not a verb here. Are you just saying it's leave? I, I mean, okay. I mean, I, yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Yes. Shore leave is a stay off the ship. Oh, okay. Jeez, slug. <laughs> the red light. Um, okay, I wasn't familiar with that term, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, to take nice. shore leave when you like Got work it. on a show. No, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Cool. Fun. Again, very fun and hidden. Um all right, let's look at five across. Southern post office employs union members. G. Another question, Marky Death. 
I'm going to oh, mute yes. for just a few okay. seconds. Okay, go ahead. TOS is shore leave. Time off shore. Time on shore. Mm-hmm. Cute. So um, Southern is SPO is post office uses employees is use it uses and union members are spouses. Very cute. Mm-hmm. Very cute definition. You're back. I'm back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Six down speaker. Nothing right near Oregon. What's Oregon's like thing? O R. O R. Yeah. I mean, I have a wasp. Me too. Yeah. Nothing right. Near Oregon is is confusing. Oh, I I understand it now. Okay. Is it orator? Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm so confused. Orator spelled O R. <laughs> okay. I mean, nice. at the end. Right. Um, yeah, I was thinking originally that that Oregon was this, and then I was confused about how the rest of it came together. But yeah, so I speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaker is order. Nothing is O. Right is R. Near is at. And then organ is O R. Nice. Okay, let's see what eight down is, maybe. Um, drops the ball by giving backsliding students satisfactory grade. Wow. Interesting. That's a that's a nice surface. Um drops the ball. By giving backsliding students satisfactory grade. Hmm. Drops? I mean, I have... Hmm. My guess is it's a word for students going up, taking in, I guess, a C? I was thinking probably a C, too. I guess B, or is B, like, good? I don't know. (laughs) I had a very (laughs) different educational experience than most, so satisfactory to me would be C. (laughs) But maybe to a lot of people, that's B. I don't know what's considered normal. Um, or typical. I can't think of a word, but my get I. Mm. Or are you thinking it's probably up down here, and then so you're looking for a pu? Yeah, word. so maybe it's like. Oh wait, no, I have it, but I don't have the. I think I know what it is, but I don't. Oh, oh. Is this oh, all right? Oh yes. Okay. I see what's going on. It's not what I. Oh, my God. All right. Sorry. It's sound is back. Okay. So, I mean, it's not screws up. What is it? Yeah. So focus on the students, the word for students going up. I, I think yeah, I've been it. looking at this. I can't see it, actually. But let so me it see. starts with the P at the bottom. Right. So it's P-U-S blank blank S is what the students word is, right? No. That's what was confusing me at first. Oh, okay. Leave that second S out. That's what's going inside. What? I don't... What? As in you couldn't hear me, or you don't know what I mean? No, I don't understand what you're saying. 
That's the what's S going is inside. what's what going mean? inside. This. Oh, you're saying this S is what to leave out when trying to think of the word. Yeah, that's right. Okay, satisfactory so the grade is, is that S is what so I'm it's saying. Pupil. Yes. Oh, that's S. I the see. grade part is really through me. But I guess yeah, that's, I don't know S is satisfactory really, but that makes sense. I it was hard to get like C or B out of my head. Me too. But I mean, I guess that's the thing, right? Like, if you're grading yeah. on that kind of scale, you would put just an S for satisfactory, right? And then you maybe if you're unsatisfactory. Although I never saw that. Yeah, I don't know. Nice. Okay, thing. so pupils are students. S is going inside, and mm -hmm. slip up is slips up is drops the ball. All right, let's look at this one. Breakout producer from India pursuing a Kate Blanchett film. Hmm. Um. Breakout. Oh, gee. Okay. Um. Gee, this is a little, Atari, this is very is nice. It? Say it again. It's not Atari. Right. No, it is. It is. Okay. I was guessing yeah. maybe there's a game called Breakout. So is AI a Kate Blanchett film? No. Something else is. Ari? Tar. Tar is. Okay. Right. I for India is going after a tar. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Cute. Um, okay. Seven down. Friend of Dorothy with small concern about theater section. Um, I mean, I think I have it on a waff. Um, All I can think of is a lesbian. Isn't that a thing? Friends, friends of Dorothy. Oh, right. Uh, that's not what it is in this in this case. I have right. IG the answer in the purse. Yeah. So Scarecrow, right? So yes. S is small. Concern is care. And then theater section is like crow's nest or whatever. Is that right? No, about is C, and then row is theater section. Oh, row, 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 row. Thank you. Good job. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Cute. Um, 17 across, snare in orchestra pit. G. G. Hey, we both hey. got it so quickly. We A know nice little simple one. Items. Thank you, yeah. Nora and LeBron. Mm -hmm. Did we look at this one yet? No, we didn't. Mm -mm. Um, big personalities breaching court judgments with blockchain purchases. No, it's a question mark. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I see what big personalities is here. Mm -hmm. um, I think it goes in the middle. Oh, so I imagine we'll like this one. Yeah, Gee. Lego sets. Nice. So we have egos inside of let's. So breaching court court judgments are let's like in tennis, right? Yeah. More tricky defs. Yeah. That's, I would say, I feel like that was said in the intro that it's like full, this is full of misdirects. And I think that mm -hmm. is delightfully true. Very nice work. Um, okay. Let's look at 13 down. Repeatedly redirected late night singer. What? That's not what that says. Repeatedly nope. <laughs> redirected late singer. Okay. Um, hmm. My, I'm wondering if repeatedly redirected is a letter bank indicator. Maybe, or it might just be a, I mean, is this 10? I can't count. Is what 10? 
light singer. I think it could just be an anagram. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. Got you. Um, Glenn. Or it could be late. An, a letter bank of late, I guess. Glenn. No, I th I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're right. Mm, I'm not. Um, let's see. A 10 letter letter bank of late would be wild. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to assume it's an anagram. Um, okay. But I think maybe we could use some processors. Yeah. I mean, this will probably not be something that's in my. I wonder if it's actually going to be like singer, like a. Like a rat or a singer, like a bird or something. It could also but, be singer. Yeah. True. It could also be singer. Very true. Okay, let's look at 18 across. The crocodile hunter's exotic interviews. G. <laughs> nice. Steve Irwin. Nice. In a uh, long anagram, but in uh, yeah. easy peasy one. I wonder if Steve Irwin knew that his uh, name anagrammed to interviews. Do you think? I don't think most people care about anagrams. Okay, 19 down. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Shut off in search of after midnight, say. Um, I mean, in search of can just be ISO, and it makes me think it, and it starts with that. Oh, really? Well, what is... I don't have it or anything. What is ISO? Like, what context is that? Like in a an ad, like in search of this particular thing, like in a oh, ad, like Craigslist right? ad, ad or yeah. something. If my name had a cool anagram, I'd want to know. I mean, I so agree. would I, for the record. Yeah, I've never checked my real name oh. or whatever. Have or you? My real name or my fake name? Yeah, no. same. Hmm. Interesting, Rogo. Um, okay, shut off in search of after midnight say. What could after midnight mean besides when yeah, not to feed uh, Mogwai? Um, wow. But after... Oh, 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 gee. Okay. I was right on the parse. Okay. So, in search of... What was your parse? I didn't catch it. Sorry. It, it shut off the straight within, down? Yes. And in search of okay. is ISO. Oh, isolate. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I would not have gotten ISO for in search of. So, after midnight is late. Um, ISO is in search of... After midnight's late and shut off is to isolate. Nice. Bod. <laughs> All right, but we're good, on Dobolino, please. Good job please. reversing Dob, Glenn. Round of applause. Damn hangers, trucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Ken. We can't solve anagrams. All right. Let's look at 20 down. Boot wearing Eastern Conference squad, 2023 NBA champions. I mean, it helps to know. Yeah, I don't know any of this. Do I, is 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 this a two part sports? Like, do I need to know Eastern Conference uh, squad? And I haven't gotten that part yet. Okay. Um, so I was thinking maybe there's a boot inside of, like. Ye Nets, maybe? I don't know if that even makes yes. sense. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I mean, nice. Mm hmm. And then that so gets the 2023 NBA champions. Yeah. Which is the I, I know you won't get it by that, but you sh I think you'll get it by your part, the parse. Nora. Um, yes. Makes sense for this one. 
So it is a boot going inside of nets. You said it. I mean, even still. <laughs> I know. What's when is you say when IPA, someone says boot, like what's the first thing you think of? My ankle hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. It does. Uh I mean like I don't type know, of axe? boot. Oh. Type of boot? Steel toe boot. Okay, um, man. I, I guess I was boot. wrong. How about brand? Oh, Ugg Nugget. There you go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> hey, Stark Raving. How's it going? Hey, Stark. It's been a while. Welcome. Um, yeah, welcome in. Yeah, nice job with Nets. Yeah, they are I an mean, Eastern Conference NBA team, for the record. Would not have known, just kind of guessing in terms of little chunks. But cool. Um, all right, 23 water sport getting bigger lately okay um huh getting uh wow um Oh, maybe I have a waff, but not a parse. Can you tell me? Maybe I can help with the parse. Rowing? Yes, that's what it is. So it's um, getting bigger lately is growing without the first letter. Starting late. Uh, oh, lately. Mm -hmm. Huh. Tricky. Yeah, I was me. trying to figure out. If it was bigger lately, then how would getting work in there? But okay, nice. High five, teamwork. High five. <laughs> oh, this is a cryptic. Oop, but I was right. <laughs> nice. Waffing is a strong thing. All right, Machu Picchu builders, as a precaution, avoiding first of Europeans. Probably an extremely smart move. Um, I do have it, but I. Oh yeah, cute. This is very yeah, cute. Yeah, this is a nice little, nice little uh, clue. Yeah, Incas so, in case taking out yep. an E, the last E. Yeah, as a precaution. Nice. Very smooth. These are really good. I know we've said this a lot, but these, this is a really nice puzzle. Um, Twenty nine across. Late addendum about rental agreement provides satisfaction. Late addendum about. Rental agreement. Gee, another smooth one. Yeah. Oh, the addendum is PS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay, so pleases is provide satisfaction. Late addendum is PS. And that's going around rental agreement, which is lease. And pleases is the straight DF. Mm-hmm. Yay. All right, let's look at this one. Kitschy summer destination. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, gee. I mean, I wonder okay. if it's a no, double right. def. Oh. Um, summer destination. Is it a double def? I'm not it is sure. It's a double def. Okay. Hmm. So it's the two deaths are for kitschy and for summer destination. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did you hear me just drink an excessive amount of water? I, I don't hear the drinking. I just know that's what you just did because I hear like the <laughs> yeah, gasping. I sweat so much. <laughs> I'm trying to rehydrate. <sighs> yeah. 
Um, yep. Uh, Do you want a little hint or a big hint? Or something? I don't know. No. Uh, yeah, give me a kitchy, hint. Cause just cause I don't. Kitchy like John Waters. Kitchy. Uh, or summer destination for kids often. Oh, camp. Got it, got yeah. it, got it, got it, got it. Thank you. Of course. All right. So, Kitchy is camp. Summer destination is camp. Very nice. Let's look at 27 across. Torrent retro soft rock number in pain. Hmm. I have it as just a wild waff, but I shouldn't say I have it. I have a guess. Right. I mean, Retro. does your guess end in C-H-E? Yes. Okay. That seems good, though, then. Okay, one second. Torrent retro soft rock number in pain. Um, it's Africa by Toto. It's a rebus. <laughs> Can this I say so what I think fun. it might be? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Avalanche. Only because it fits. Yeah. So. Have a laugh. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, okay. Um, <sighs> yeah. I mean, number oh, is N. That's all I've got. Yeah. No, that's what it is. So, oh, rock um, lava. Okay. Uh, soft rock. Yes. Retro soft rock is lava, and then in pain is ache going around. That's why I asked about the H. Uh, going around the N for number. Yep. Nice. Nice. Lava nice, going nice. backwards. Yep. Nice. Very nice. So, a torrent. Oh, like a rush of things. Like, okay. Avalanche. Sometimes I forget yeah. what the meaning Torrential. of torrent is, except Aside for from download, music. What Meep yeah. does when we're having internet yes. issues on stream. All her yeah. cat, I mean, all of her bird videos. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. 13 down. Repeatedly read. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? So there's two A's. So I think it is probably a letter bank because there's not two A's in Late Singer. That's interesting because I saw LeBron say not possible, but maybe that was just LeBron messing with me. That's probably what it is, right? LeBron, would you do that? Oh, I have it, actually. Yeah. Very possible. Uh, also not possible. LeBron could never. LeBron, how dare you? But what... <sighs> Repeatedly? All I see is tattletale. That's what it is. Why would it not oh, be tattletale? Oh, god damn it. No, I just confused myself. Oh, my God. Jeez Louise. There we go. How did you hit F12 when trying to hit E, though? That was F12 that I just hit? <laughs> that's what brings <laughs> that know. up, is F12, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's so far over. Okay. Yeah, I sorry. I, I, got, I confused myself with the whole... Like, I know I suggested the parts would be, the straight deaf would be singer, but then I kept thinking late singer because of the anagram idea. So then, yeah, I just confused myself. I forgot that deaf was singer. That's great. That's a good deaf. Yeah, it is. Not possible. Also, I think I was hitting, I think I was hitting the backspace when I hit F12, just so you know. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. Let's look at 15 down. Okay. Loud runner interrupting game with appreciative gesture. Okay. Um, uh, 
uh, right, Saz? I agree. So loud can be F, but I mean, loud could also be the straight to F. I assume interrupting means going inside. Game with appreciative gesture. Loud runner, runner. Um. Um, I have a guess, but I don't see a parse. Appreciative. Let's say the guess. I'm saying maybe chest bump, but it could be. All right, can you type it in? Sure, it I'm not see really it. seeing it. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Well, let's see. Uh, loud. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. <laughs> I mean, game chump. Estba, like I don't, yeah, I don't know what's happening here. Chess game interrupting game runner interrupting game. Well, it seemed seemed uh, good, but yeah, I really don't see. Maybe the it's not bump, but it's chest. Like, is there something else that? Because I'm thinking game could be chess. Yeah, like and it's being interrupted. <laughs> I don't. I mean, okay. Like, yeah, I mean. Well, we do chess rubs for meep. Oh, of course, of course. Um, <laughs> loud runner. Well, I don't think it's gonna end in an S, just because it's all singular. Chest taps. I don't think it's going to be plural, right? It's not going to be plural. Well, a gesture could be something that you do more than once. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. I don't know if if it's a repetitive thing, but oh, I see his chest pass now, which is not a an appreciative. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's all wrong. All right. I don't okay. know either. Let's look at seventeen across. Um, art. Art? Nope, that's not what that says. Hmm. Act whichever way you want. Okay. It makes me think. Yeah. Palindrome. Palindrome. Act. But... Oh, or God. it could just be a double deaf, I guess. Yeah. Let's keep going. Um, modding Sony game provides travel funds. Okay, I think it's going to be an anagram the right of letter? Sony game. Yeah. Yep. Sony um, game. Travel funds. Travel funds is okay. G. Gas money. Yep. Easy peas. Cute. Uh, let's get 21 down. Second grade poem with Georgia store with a cat. G. Okay. Grade poem. Um. Georgia store with a cat. Which side is the deaf on here? Uh, the deaf is on the right side. Oh, bodega store with a cat. Yeah. So second grade is B. Poem is owed. Mm -hmm. Georgia is GA. Store with a cat. Yeah. Nice. Cute. Yep. All right. Let's look at this one. Make another dramatic production of nap time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a cute straight deaf. This is reminding me of when I was watching my niece and we had to have a phone call. And you heard her in the background through the little mm -hmm. monitor. Just yelling, so telling stories to herself, singing. <laughs> so cute. 
that's the better production of nap time. I know they can be really sure. Anyway, um, I think it's an anagram of nap time. Like yeah, Let's and see. so I, I make another. Maybe is the straight deaf. I'm thinking it ends in a t e, but I'm trying to. But it might not. Yeah, I don't see it. I like that parse too, but I don't know. What if we look at this one? Thread. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. They just started drilling again. Thread. Top characters from the world is not enough. G. Oops. Thread. I keep. I'm hearing like weird. You're not like hitting the mic with anything, right? No, I'm playing with a pen. Okay. And also, they're drilling upstairs. I don't know which yeah. one it is. Um. Not enough. Where, which side's the deaf on here? It's on the left. Thread. Top characters. Oh, twine. Top characters. Yeah. Yep. Interesting top for a left to right plume. Is through me a little bit. Mm, yeah. Like first characters. <laughs> right. Hmm. Um, all right. 17 down. Sirius, deity of rodents from the basement. <laughs> um Sirius. Oh. I'm about to really show myself. Show my ass. Is that what it's called? Uh, what is it I, called when you going? expose yourself for being a dumbass? Cross your TV. <laughs> you're you're saying some different is it showing things. your ass? I don't think that's what showing your ass means. That is exposing yourself, but. Yeah, bagel. I mean, I know exactly what moms means as well. Um, that is a thing. I show your ass means. Saying. Oh wow! Yeah, to show your ass is to like. I know. Maybe it's just the way you said it. Then I did not know that was a saying for that. <laughs> I say for a lot. <laughs> of course, of course, that would bring. Brolov out of hmm. lurk naturally. Hi, Brolov. What sides of the deaf on here? Or do you not have it? I mean, I guess I do. Yeah. Um, if I'm right, the deaf is on the left. <laughs> nice bro off you know what i wish we would have started the timer i mean, we can obviously look at the vod but <laughs> feels like this has been going smoothly but yeah it's definitely tricky it's bro a lot off, of often, stuff. It, for sure yeah this is not the easiest it's very smooth and very good but there's yeah. a lot of misdirecty stuff indeed bro off, mm -hmm. how often do you do cryptics in general um Okay. Uh I mean I know Sirius is a star, right? Um Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I mean I have this from rough wait. knowledge and the parse, so don't ask me a lot of details, but yeah. I, I mean all I have is big star. 
So that's, that's close. Star okay. is right. Oh. That was my first thought. Like, is it just big star? But then I went through the parse and figured out that big no. taco. <laughs> mm, big star. Damn it. Now I want tacos. <laughs> Sally. I actually am hungry, though. I need to eat sometime soon. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I'm not hearing no long or anything. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I am. I'm okay. just acknowledging that I am both joking okay. and actually hungry. Um, what the heck is if it's not? Well, look Jeez. at the parse. If you take out Sirius and just try and parse oh, the rest. Oh, read the clue is what you're saying. Maybe if you reread the clue, it sounds I'm like is what saying, you're saying. Just saying, like you have a good sense of it now. If you look at the, if you try and break down how it parses then you might get the last part of it. It's different. It's different. I'm saying it's different than just saying reread the clue. From okay. the basement's an indicator. Oh, it's going up. Okay, rats, God. Oh, Jesus. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So it's a dog star, I guess. I don't know what that means, but I don't either. Maybe, maybe it's, it's a star in the shape of a, a dog. Constellation that's a dog. <laughs> I don't know. Showing ass. That's what I that's when I was talking about showing ass. This was the moment. Yeah. I idiot is what I am. I'm just no, a, you are not. Well You may show your ass on of. the internet, but you're no idiot. <laughs> nice good one Thanks. But, um, all right oh act whichever way you want okay i mean maybe g i don't oh yeah i have it okay is this just deed like yeah is that an act yeah i mean it's just a palindrome oh like a good it, deed like a good yeah, deed okay good i was act, trying to right. yeah 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 okay so it's no, like stuff is kind of cringe, actually. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm so cool, Saint Perloff. <laughs> nice slug. That was a good one. It was very quotable. All right, so act whichever way you want. A good deed, a deed, an act. Let's look at this one. Maybe it is chess something, but yeah, it's not chest. We know that, but okay. Um. Or maybe it's um uh, chess. Oh, I know what it is. Oh. Okay. I mean, appreciative gesture has to be the straight death, right? Oh wait. Sorry, I'm trying to I'll figure just... out the parse. Okay. Okay. I mean, I know some of the parse, but. I don't understand. Oh. Okay, I... Sorry, what was your question? Is the straight deaf on the right? Is it, it appreciative is, yeah. gesture? Yes, and chess is going around... Okay, can you put the H in? It just will help me put the H where sure. it goes. Okay. What? Oh, never mind. I understand the middle part now. Okay, never mind. I don't... What's that first word? Unless it's chess. It's not chess, but ch chess is going around. Can you put where the second S goes? This is not, that's not a part of chess. Okay, put the where the S's go. Okay. What? Oh my God. Okay. Loud runner interrupting. Okay, so game is chess. Loud runner. What the heck is this word? C H E blank S, but not chess. Oh my god, what am I missing? Maybe focus on what the second word is. Yeah.
I mean, I can give you a strong hint if you want, or. Appreciative gesture. Oh, chef's yeah. kiss. I was not mm-hmm. thinking of like apostrophe S. Yes. Okay. Nice. So wait, loud is F. Mm-hmm. Interrupting. A runner ski? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, runner. I think like a single ski is a runner. It goes down a hill or something. Maybe people say that for skis. Oh, They're okay. runners. I don't know much about skiing. Okay. Yeah, me either. Okay. Okay. Um, Last one. One more. Yes. Make another dramatic production of nap time. Okay, well, it's not an anagram of nap time. No. Mm-mm. Oh, Make another gee. is so it's going to be reshape. Or that was re- my first thought too. Okay, re. You don't have the parse yet. But let me see. Dramatic reproduct oh. no dramatic production. Wow, of this is clever. Time? I do have the parse now. Wow, I don't know what's going on here. Is it? It's where's the straight like death? A, it's on the left. So is it make another or is it make an, is it more than that? It's more than that. Make Um, another dramatic production. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Stark, this is from, um, ABC X words. Why did I say it like that? So slowly, (laughs) Nora, are you still here? It's a subscription. There you go. Yeah, if you don't subscribe, Um, if you want, you could pay one. I think it's one dollar for this particular puzzle. I will say, in my opinion, worth it if you if you can swing that. But yearly subscription, I don't even remember. I don't remember. I don't want to misquote it. I don't remember. Yeah, true. Um, Yeah, they actually put out lots and lots of puzzles, American style cryptics, um, minis. Sorry, middies. Dob is a constructor for the midi team. Sure. Um, and then, yeah, also trivia. So there's a whole, yeah, a whole range of fun um, games and puzzles and stuff. I'm gonna just pin Broloff's very generous <laughs> comment about this puzzle. Wow. Uh, I okay. So we're doing something with nap time. Yeah, and it's something really simple. It's just a charade of nap time. Rest. Mm-hmm. Oops, I'm not clicked in. Oops. What the heck? Restage age. Oh my god. Yes. Very clever. Nora simple, had to but get also really hard. Some kind of stage mm-hmm. reference into this puzzle. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah. What Way a tricky go, but smooth, too. very nice puzzle. Nice job, LeBron and Nora. You should be very proud of this one. I feel like this is a really solid puzzle. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, very fair and balanced, but also tricky, which can be hard to do. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, kudos. Yay. Nice and yeah, job. a lot of clever, a lot of clever um, cluing angles and um, fun misdirecty stuff for sure. Can you parse one across? Absolutely. Oh, bro, love. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let Dab do that since I was the one originally. Splits is a straight deaf. Well, since I was the one who got it right away, is what you're saying, bro, love. Oh, I got right, this right. one without Parse. pause. Yes. Totally. So I'm a phone of bi and sex. 
God, not the embarrassment of me being like, yeah, absolutely. Just one second (laughs) 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 to to the setup. I fell right in Brilloff's trap. So long ass is that's a great one. That's a great (laughs) really started off with a bang, so to Uh, speak. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do the beer. Yeah, true. I'm hungry. What should I eat? Should I go get a pizza puff? I'm not going to get a pizza puff. Um, I mean, I bet you don't have to. I'm sure there's somewhere near you that has pizza puffs. Yeah, Shitmart. Shitmart has them. It might be about what, Nora? (laughs) <laughs> it's about fucking <laughs> um we should make that a sound command or should we not actually i don't know lose i mean it's a clip um, oh it is cool uh this is green light let me Schlock. oh yeah i put that that's on the screen schlocky schlock and schlocky they didn't take schlock schlock what's schlock Oh, schools. Like, schlock is like something, I don't know, sort of like cheesy, I think. Oh, interesting, Kelsey. What, Kelsey? Excuse. Uh, Scoozy? Uh, sco- Why does that H down there look weird? It makes it look like S C N O O L S. I, what are, oh, is where? that just what are you for me? About? Chucks. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Down at the bottom. S C. The last word in the words discovered. Why is it? Is it just me? It looks weird for. It doesn't Schools? look like an H. Yeah. It looks. Looks like an H to me. Weird. Slyly. It looks like S C N O O L S. Shoots. What is going on? Schools. Um. Are you okay? I don't know. I, okay. Ox. Weird. Not. Wait, there's. Chocks? Did I already get that? Tox? Chuck. <clears throat> Thank you, Slug. Yeah, it must be on its. On, it appears on your computer badly because it looks fine on mine, and then your stream goes out to the, to the stream. So I mean, your screen goes out to the stream. Right. Cock. I don't think they. They didn't allow clit yesterday, so if they allowed cock, well, actually, that doesn't. I mean, no. That, different. Yeah. yeah. But I I know Boisvert manually removed so, a lot of things. Probably that. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's cook, a rooster fair. Cooks and kooks. I think I'm up to. Yeah, I got everything so far. Okay. Hooks. Looks. Looks. Um. Sock. And socks. And socks. Yep. Shock and shocks. <laughs> oh, you don't say start raving. <laughs> <laughs> looky, looky, I got hooky. <laughs> Let's see if it accepts it. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't make sense. I mean. Oh, hooks. Did we get hooks? Yeah, we did. It's not acceptable. Slug. Here's the other version. Not acceptable. Wait, why does that make you an idiot, Glenn? Yeah, you're actually just like getting a sense of what's to come, right? Oh, Glenn. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what your panic was. You were tired, right? Oh, skyhook could be a thing. I tried both. I think it's two no. words. Yeah. Um. Oh I mean, it God. is a thing. Can you hear this yet? No, no, I can't. But really we're almost done. Um. Okay. Do you want to start looking up words? I can catch the. I wonder if they take hosey. 
Like oh, this. choosy. I think we got that. Oh. Yeah, chalk was accepted. No. Flowers that are... Oh, chalk. What? That's because it needs an S, Eve. Oh, sorry. Chalks was accepted, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. Hollyhocks. Hollyhocks. There we go. Two L's. Um, Pangram, good job. Do you want me to clue words or are you looking stuff up? No, no, no. I got it. All right. Okay. Uh, s- multiple sons, four letters. Oh, solos. Solo. Souls? Sons? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. I think I got that. Scooch, I think, is... Um, yeah. How is Scooch spelled? Why is that weirding me out? S-C-O-O-C-H, maybe? But it might be with a T? I'm not sure. Oh, Chills. Maybe it's with a T. Five letters. Pinky. Wait, what? Chills. Oh, wait. Okay, I forgot what was happening. Skosh? You don't say. <laughs> Schools? Yeah, nice. Oh, this word I do not know. Oh, my God. What does this mean? Okay. Um. Um. I gotta look a couple words up. Uh, four letters. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh, good job, um, I'm Shiley. Passes or depressions in mountain ranges. Four letters. Chops. Slug got it. Holes. Oops. Holes. Wow. Uh, ten letters. Any oh. of uh several plants belonging to the genus Alcea or Alfea of the mallow family, native oh, to is Eurasia. No. Yeah, it is. We already have that. That says. Oh. Yeah, we've had that. I'm this whole time. Uh, Lots. all right. It's gonna be two four-letter words. I should have looked at that. Oh, not a win. Four <laughs> Eve, letters. Take it easy on Eve, please, Eve. Not a win is a loss. Okay. Awesome. One more four-letter word. It's going to be four letters. Um, oh, um, like a bird. Bird sounds. It's four letters. Ooze. Yeah, it's um, Purple Rain Radio. Yep. Yay, we did it, everybody. Nice job. Good job, everybody. Um, Way to go. Uh, it's not nighttime, but close enough. Uh, let's find someone to raid. Yes. Oh, you know what? Physics is on. We don't get to raid physics that often. I bet Rogo might be in there. Um, physics is doing some kind of trivia. I don't know if it's green light or not. So <gasps> check first. I'm sorry, but did Steve just say cryptics and voice for a third day in the row? In the row? In the in row. row? Wow. wow okay cryptics and voice if you're not in our discord yeah after you rate after you say hi to physics go join our discord and help steve solve some british cryptics yeah uh, always god a good knows time. he could use it yeah Jeez, <laughs> that's Louise. deep really good. really a right. noob. good night everybody 